This is the checkerboard. It's used for long multiplication in the six to nine classroom. It is a very interesting material because you can see that the hierarchies are repeated on the board and they go all the way up to 100 million um, and can even go up to 100 billion if you go up the side of the board for your answer. So it's exciting for the six to niner who likes the big work with math. Uh, also, what is interesting about the checkerboard is that we are no longer using 10 bars, even though the children are using the bead bars that they have seen over and over throughout their Montessori career. On this material, the bead bar takes its value from the square upon which it rests. So if your one bead is in the unit square, it's worth one unit. If it rests on the 10 square, it's worth 110. If it rests on the 100 square, it's worth 100. But if it's all the way over here, on the million, unit of million square, it's worth one unit of million. Our first problem we're going to do is just multiplying by units. We are going to multiply 6,425 by 3. We set up the multiplicand in white tiles with hierarchical coloring on them. Uh, in the Montessori classroom, white, uh, when used in this fashion, always represents the real number in the problem. Our multiplier is on a gray square. It is just the number of times we are going to take the bead bars out of the box, and in this case that's three. So we're multiplying 6,425 by three. The first thing we do is get out three five bars in the unit square. Then three two bars. Three four bars. And three six bars. After the bead bars are laid out, we are going to combine so that we have just one bead bar in each square. So the children will count the bead bars. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Then we get out the number just as we would write it down, one and five, and we put them in separate squares, just like we would put them in separate squares in graph paper. We don't want to mix that up. If we put it the other way, it would be 51. So it's got to be this way, 15. Now we're going to add all of the bead bars in the 10 square. 2, 4, 6, 7. So we'll trade those in for a 7 bar. Now we'll count our hundreds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 9, 10, 11, 12. To write the number 12, we need a 1 and a 2. And they go this way for 12. And now we're going to add all of the bead bars in the 1,000 square. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So we need to get out a 1 and a 9 to make 19. If we put it this way, it would be 91, so we have to be careful to set it down the right way. And then we will write our answer down. We have five units, seven tens, two hundreds, nine thousands, and one ten thousand. And we put a comma between our families. There's always three to a family, so we start counting on the right, units, tens, hundreds, and put a comma. So 6,425 times three is 19,275. We have five units, seven tens, two hundreds, nine thousands, and one ten thousand.